In Insight, the factors displayed below the model viewer allow you to easily test the impact of changing the settings associated with key design features on the overall building performance. You can save groups of these settings and assumptions as scenarios that let you easily return to those assumptions as you compare alternatives. It's often very helpful to create a baseline scenario that saves the common assumptions that should be applied to all of your analyses before you start exploring design variables and changing design features to test their impact. Let's start by viewing the insight results for your model. If needed, generate insights for this model by clicking the Analyze tab and creating the energy model, then choosing Generate to create the insights. Then click Optimize to access the results in the insight interface. Now let's explore the factors that are available in the insight interface. Scroll down the Insight interface to view the factors that impact the building's performance. Each of the factor tiles shows the following. The name and description of a factor that impacts the building performance and will affect the computed mean EUI or mean annual cost. And the current range of values being considered for that factor. Click the blue arrow on one of the factors to display a graph with a range of potential values for that factor and the current settings in your BIM. Click on the factor to open it and allow you to edit its settings. Each of the factors displays a gauge showing the impact of each choice on the mean EUI or the mean annual cost, a graph showing the range of performance for potential design options. Hover the pointer over each of the points representing an option to see the effect on the mean EUI or mean annual cost associated with that option. Next, let's select the range of assumptions to consider for that factor. Drag the handles at the left and right ends of the factor range to select the options to be considered in the analysis. Note how the mean EUI, or mean annual cost, changes to reflect the new range of values for this factor. Also note how the mean EUI, or mean annual cost, compares to the ASHRAE 90.1 and Architecture 2030 baselines following these changes. After editing the range selection, close the pop-up window. Every time you make a change to a factor, the model history will display the impact on both the mean EUI or the mean annual cost as well as the range of potential values associated with those changes. Next, let's make some changes and set those as a baseline of settings that will be used as we compare different models. First, select the operating schedule factor and narrow that range to include a single value, 12.5. Then, select the lighting efficiency factor, and narrow the range for this factor to include 0.7 to 0.3 watts per square foot. Finally, let's select the plug load efficiency factor and narrow that range to include a single value, 0.6 watts per square foot. Before performing an analysis, it's helpful to set some of the factors as baseline assumptions to have a more accurate baseline model that will serve as the basis for comparing design options versus your design variables, the things that you'll change to test the different design options and strategies you're considering. Now let's save these baseline assumptions as a scenario. Select the Add Scenario button at the top right of the model viewer. Click the Action button, the three dots to the right of the untitled scenario name. Then choose Rename from the pop-up menu to change the name of this scenario. 
set the name of this scenario to baseline scenario. This baseline scenario is very useful for quickly returning the current factor settings back to this common set of baseline assumptions before changing any design variables that you'd like to test.